Okay. Um, um, so you you go first, you, but you're not going to move anywhere, so you're nope. going to stay where you're at. Hold on. Oh, wait, you guys oh, are probably going to move. Phase? Sorry. Yes. I'm excited. I only <laughs> need one more to get this. Okay. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go over there and try and deal with um, Colonel Stahl. Oh, uh, Colonel Stahl. Okay. Yeah. By the way, this guy is... Uh, these guys are over here. Oh, okay. No, right he's here. no. You're right. You're right. He's right there. Somehow that got moved over there. So, okay. Ah, uh, you know the only thing is, if I fight Colonel Stahl, like he's next to the Zap one plus he gets a plus five because of his orders to kill. He might be a little <sighs> intense. Well, because a plus one for the Nazi though. Yeah, it would be uh, better two, for so. me because I have a two plus fight well, dice. Well, I think we need to wait for the Zap one to move, and if they recover, we might try to. Get a, get a board. Oh, so I don't have that wound. You might as well just go for the... Yeah, I'm just going to go back here. Yeah. Try it again. Your turn to move. All right, I'm going to go... Right back at it. Right back at it. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the adventure phase. You want to grab me one? Yep. I don't care. Since you're supposed to shuffle it. these, I just draw them from the bottom. It just keeps it easier. Yeah. Uh, hidden trap. Uh, the danger, uh, so... It's this, a trap! Yeah. Spot the pressure plate in the floor and find a way across um, that densely packed pattern um, of stones to avoid springing the trap. So it's either a lore plus, a four plus with two, with two successes, or it's a cunning five plus with one success. I'll take the lore. Okay. Four plus? Four plus, two successes, yep. Oh, I already see. Look at that, four successes. <laughs> That's enough to make Yay. it. Yay! Okay, so you get the three glory. Oh, I yeah, that one. I try to put all the smaller ones up on that side. Oh, okay, here, I'll just... Yeah, we have these extra things if you want to put, like, biggers and smallers and separate them by... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I get the skull. Okay, so now you have to take that back to a city to collect the, uh, to sell it, so a keep it Ferox. next to you. We get it. And then we remove this here. So we have four. And where, where was the skull at? Well, you have to sell it before we can get it. You have to go to a city and sell it. I don't know, you did something with the other one because it was on top of here. I didn't touch it. Okay. It'll turn up. It it'll, it'll turn up. Okay, so I do believe it's my turn to encounter my artifact. So, do you want to... Cargo plane mishap. Something's not right. Your flight has been sabotaged. Find a way out of this midair predicament. Cunning, six plus times one. Okay, well, I have three dice. Um, you know what? Let me see something, because... I think you can exert yourself. I'm not sure if that's. I thought there was. You could yeah. Exert. It'll like cost you a wound. Or it does something. cost you a wound. I'm just trying to figure out if you can do that if you roll the die. Oh, apparently you're supposed to shuffle and draw from the bottom every time. So yeah, when you start shuffling the danger deck. Oh. It says when you have this artifact, you may heal d6 wounds when you defeat an enemy in a fight. Oh, that's cool. The problem is, like, they have two sections that'll cover, like, the same stuff. Like, it's, I, I see when people say this is, rollbook is a little bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. I kind of understand that because you're, like, you're exerting. Thing. It's very dangerous moments. It's possible for your hero to push themselves past your limits to survive. While at the cliffhanger test, uh, survive. And while in a cliffhanger test, so I have to beat a cliffhanger test or make mm -hmm. an escape test. Okay. So, unfortunately, it's going to go to the cliffhanger side, but we'll just put that here and figure that out after Drew's turn. All right. So, what do I gotta face? Underwater diving. You good swimmer, Drew? Hopefully. 
Your search has led you to the water. Suit up in your heavy duty diving suit and descend into the dark depths below the surface. Glory three, cunning five plus oh. times two. You've got to make a stealth check before you can experience it. Oh, yeah, that. because I got. Yeah. So oh. her search is four. And so I'll just pick a number between one and six. Five. Five. You're good. Nice. And remember, you get to. Oh, you get to re roll those if, if there's one you don't yeah. like. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so now you can do that thing. I'm sorry. Okay, five plus two X's. All right, and it's Glory cunning. Three. Cunning, yeah. Okay, so I get I have to do three dives. Yep. All right, it's a five plus. So... Yes. There's yes. One, one more. Five, 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 five. Yes. Yay. There's, so yay. So you Three collect glory. one fortune. Hold on, hold on. Don't collect the glory. Just keep the card until you decide you're going to camp down or press on. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's press on because okay. I need... I think you need to do another stealth check. Okay. Okay. Oh. So... Well, it's fine. Let's... Does it stay at the same number? No, you can choose whatever number you want. Four. Four. I actually kind of like the stuff mechanic in this game. Four. You're good. Nice. Good thing that wasn't an attack roll. That was three sixes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, uh, we do have to add, since you did do the shooting, we do add um, on this. Yeah. Ancient puzzle. Glory two. The gears are beginning to move. Decipher this ancient puzzle before it's too late. Lore five plus times one. Oh. Lore. Okay. So it's yeah. two. Oh, yeah. Five just plus. Five plus. And just one time. I know, but I don't have very many lore dice. I know, and I only have agility and combat to uh, offer. I gotta get plus five common dice. Five. Nope. Oh, man. So that's why I said don't collect the glory because this is just going to go there and you're yeah. going to go to the cliffhanger yeah. side, which, where's that at? So just uh, flip that over. Yeah, that's it. Just flip. No, no you, you just, took it. Oh, no, no, this, this is, is a diving one. Oh. So, okay. Now, do I lose the... No, you don't lose that. You only lose that if you get KO'd. Okay. Fortunately, I forgot about the exerting roll because you might as well exert yourself and tell you. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, villain's turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do the Zeppelin first, because I like doing the Zeppelin first. It is trying to go to Indonesia. Oh, that's back that way. But it's yeah, going to go this right way. Over here. So somebody want to roll a dice to figure out how many spaces it moves? Oh. One. So I think it's going to go, like, this would be the quickest way to Indonesia, yeah. so it's going to go here to the, the Gulf of Mexico. And somebody want to roll uh, 2d6s for the two secret bases. See if we spawn any more secret bases. Four and a two. Um, four, five, or six. Actually, it's a four. It moves one, so that should be at three now. So the secret base is going to be at um, the steps. That's uh, uh, the steps right here. Oh, that's Siberia. Oh. Uh, there it is. Yep. Oh, that's a moth. Moth. See. Moth. Yeah, I thought I thought I had these guys separated. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Okay, some of the mob guys got mixed up with the Nazis. Here you go. <clears throat> that's important because um. If we ever can't place it, that moves the track one step closer. Okay, so we're getting Nazis go, oh, um, going, so. Okay, and then these guys get to adventure real fast. Um, so we'll do him first since uh, that's not the most interesting. So his search is three. Does somebody want to roll three dice? Yeah. He might get the artifact this turn because he needs one more success. All right, ready. Yep. One. 
Five, three, and a two. And so that means he gets the, the artifact. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> which means it goes up two. We are at five. Um, so, they have this. The Cup of Medusa. I'm not doing too hot. No. I know. Okay. Um, and then try to do her thing now. She has to search. Um, do so we she, get new artifacts or is that... Yeah, they get to be replenished. They the get next. replenished at the end of the turn. Okay. So okay. Four, five, and six. She takes fortune for every... Uh, yeah. Three. Three. And which means it goes up another one. Uh, we are now at six. I think they go almost halfway to winning, guys. We gotta start rating those up ones and stuff. Or I just need to stop rolling. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> The hero must overcome free dangers to destroy the base. If we destroy the base, um, the hero gains the bonus of destroying an outpost. If we destroy the outpost, we can steal an artifact, and we reduce that track by uh, D3. Okay. So you roll D6, and on a 1 and 2, it's, yeah, we'll go over that. So so I think we need to start rating some things after this, but he's going to come back to base here. Oh, if we start rating yeah. um, secret base, it'll go down? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, now we're going to replenish uh, some new artifacts. We need two new artifacts, so why don't you give uh, I will. one to Drew and then... Um, so this one's going to be in Germany. The Drew's going to be in Germany, the one that he picks. Put the glowing eyes in Germany since we're fighting Nazis. That would be... yeah. And then what's the artifact that you create? So the artifact is the Spear uh -huh. of Power. The Spear of Power. Can I pick a different one? We just had this one. How do we get it again? I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. I think there's two of them actually. Ferox. I wonder if I got a. Well, you have the skull, and this is the amulet. So it's like that guy's been around. Yeah. I guess. That's fine. We'll... We're gonna do the amulet of lost souls. Okay, and that is gonna go to the British Isles. Oh, that's right up my alley. Yeah, you're not laid down, by the way. So. I know, I just got knocked yep. over. Okay. I was camped out. <laughs> so I'm the first player. Uh, so we're going to go to roll initiative. Can we get the dice tray? Although we're going to want to put it kind of in over Africa for now because we got the skulls. and. Okay. <clears throat> so. Five. I did not get a one for the event. I five. got five. That's good. Four. <laughs> so. Uh, okay, uh, so movement phase. Um, I'm not going to move. I don't think you're going to move. I'm going to move. Yes, so. Um, I think I'm just going to head back to town. Yeah, you got a four, right? I have so a you're four. Gonna go one, so two, going and then to... three. So if the city has like the port location on it, you could move directly from that to the sea locations. Oh, okay. Um, so like, although you couldn't move from like a. Chicago, Washington to yeah, the Atlantic, sense. but you yeah. can move from New York to the but Atlantic. But this one I can. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, so, so you're now not on I the skull. To... You're supposed to hold on to the adventure, but oh, okay. so you're going to encounter the city when it's your turn. So I'm the first okay. player, but I had that cliffhanger, uh, which is you want to read that? So you don't have to fly. What? Attempt to crash land the plane or find a creative way to reach the ground safely. Cunning six plus get one or discard a gear card and agility oh. four plus times two what would you like to I do i can't i don't have a gear card to discard so you'll have to do the cunning yay can i have a dice it's it's, it's three isn't it or six mm -hmm. right do you want i need three life? dice i don't care is that six six my okay. cunning is three okay, okay. No sixes, but okay, so what I forgot last time was I can exert myself so I can take a wound and add a die to that result. So, um, and you can keep doing that until you get KO'd, essentially. Yeah, so. I moved that over. That wasn't a six. Let's do it again. Let's see. That's two wounds. I'll just, we'll do the wounds. One more time. I can do it two more times. Try green. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it's one success. Now, unfortunately, I do lose all the dice from exerting, but I took three more wounds, so I can only take one more wound before I'm knocked out. 
This many or yeah. one more? Uh, four, I should have four total. And I need one more green die. So I only have one success. Come on. Oh, that's not good. You just needed one. No, one. Oh, you're right. I only needed one. My bad. Yeah. I thought I had to go again. No. Whew. Good catch. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to camp down because it says when you camp down, you can heal, fully heal, I believe. And I need it because I exerted myself to try to get that. Um, exerted, okay. Um, wait, camping down. That's what I'm looking for. Fully heal, yep. And I get to take the three glory. Oh, as well. in that case, can I put this back? Because I've camped down so many yeah. times, yeah. it's not funny. You get three glory. I get three glory, and I get one success for the area that I'm on as well. So. Okay. Uh, so, Drew, Drew it's your turn. turn. All right. So, you I have, have to do to... a stealth test if you want to. Oh, yeah, I have to do so. You want to give me four dice and then give me a number between one and ten? Or one and six. Two. Oh, no, you can make him re-roll that, remember? Yes. yes. Is that once per round? Well, uh, once per stealth test. Oh, mm. Again, three sixes, so... I think green dice are your dice. Yeah. Glory Look. four. Dislodged from an ancient resting place, a massive rounded boulder rumbles down the tunnel towards you. Indiana Jones? No. That's that Agility is. five plus, and you have to do it three times. <laughs> All right, so I my agility is five, so I nice. get five dice. So I just need three. Just three fives or sixes. Holy May. So there's you got one. one. So you get, a, that's you get one all success. Of them. You have to get re-roll all of them. Two, three. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yay. Good job. Hold on, keep that one. So he gets four glory. No, 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 hold on. No, you don't get four glory yet. If you camp down, you get the glory. Oh, okay. Do you want to push on or do you want to? I'm going to push on. Okay. Cause... I'll let you read it because I've been reading them. Okay. Because, yeah, you need, yeah, we're trying to get the gold because, yeah. Would you stop shuffling? Well, you're supposed to shuffle. Are you? Yes, every time. It says that in oh. the rules. So. All right. I just read that. Okay. Ancients of Evil. Uh -oh. Draw a random villain and add them to the adventure. Um, roll a sneak test to get past this villain. If successful, the danger, if successful, the danger is passed. If discovered, complete a fight round and then flip over to a cliffhanger. Now, I read this in the rules because you already have a villain there. Mm -hmm. They don't, we don't add a new one. It's just, you just have to do another stealth check against her. Okay. So. Four uh, dice? Yep, yeah, four dice. What, what number, number do you want you me? Like? Let's do three. Oh. But I would have you re-roll one of these still. Yeah. But you're going to have to go to the cliffhanger after this, unfortunately. So you have to do one combat round with her. Unfortunately, she gets the plus five because of the kill orders. So she's at five, and then eight, ten because of the two Nazis. Her fight's two, plus she has two bodyguards. So ten dice. Ten dice? <laughs> yep. I'm going to die. Right? How many do All you right, have? Roll. I have four. I'm not rolling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My dice get too high of rolls. Nothing. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, <laughs> that's not bad. You had a lot of sixes in there. Yeah, but they don't count as crits. Oh, okay. Only the snake had the crits. So do you want to re-roll one of those dice? Let's see how many health do you have? Yep. Four. Four. Yeah, you might want to have her re-roll so you can survive this. Yeah. All right. Oh. So you'll take three hits. Now do you want to roll against her? Three or four, because it's four, four, five, and six. Well, I get one defense. I re rolled one of those. That was, that no, was, you oh. put the over yeah, there. Yeah, three, so. because she has one defense. Oh, okay. that's what I'm asking. All Sorry. right. So let me get my wounded real quick. All right, and I get you combat of three. Four, four, four. Nice. You do two wounds to her. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Great. Finally. Um, doof, doof. Oh, heroes in our space is one, minus one defense and allies. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. We forgot about the searches. Okay. Oh, they have special abilities. I'm just remembering these. So uh, if there's a hero, so a male hero, uh, inner space gets uh, minus one defense. 
Um, oh, the femme fatale. Yeah. And then um, it says domination. It says hero, so I think that actually counts. Huh? It says heroes. Does yours say hero or? No, it's a girl. Yeah, but so it says hero. Good. It says heroes in her space, though. So I actually. I think thought you, you were... said male heroes. Well, it says heroes is what this says. I think I was confused. So I think you, you do take take a minus one defense. So I think that would have been enough to knock you out. Yep. Oof! You still wounded her twice, though. Does yeah, it have I... to say hero on the thing? Mm-hmm. It doesn't say hero on. The yeah, thing. well, the players are called heroes, honey. Yeah. So I lose. Potato, potato. Um. So oh. yeah, that that stuff. You you um. Oh. You get to roll a d six and you Does lose that many keep... items. Hold. I just told him he rolls a d six and he gets to lose that much items. The fortune. fortune. So hopefully you roll a one. 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 Yeah. Roll a zero. <laughs> oh. So you lose both of those. <sighs> that was nasty. Plus, good news is, guys, this kill orders are gone now. Yay. Oh. Can I, can I write rewind? I forgot I had this. What does that say? <laughs> I could have given him two plus for combat. Well, it doesn't matter. He's still KO'd. Okay. Okay, so I get a city card? Uh, yeah. Draw just a keep... gear card. <laughs> just throw that in the bottom then. Oh, hey look. You get a lore. I get a lore. Okay. Remember you have three gear cards and three allies. Okay. Um, can so, I sell this? Yes, and since you're in a major city, it's plus one, so you get five fortune. Nice. Five. We've got six, guys. We've got 30 more to go. So you've sold it. That's that's the city phase and all that stuff. It's the villain phase. So we draw a villain event. Getting that order kit, the kill orders, that was nasty. Roll once in the villain organization tactics charts. Move the villain stuff one step closer. <laughs> no. And this Stop. is also particularly nasty. Does somebody want to roll me a d6? No. I got it. Six. <sighs> the Nazis have started pushing their way into the nearby cities as a show of force. Place a Nazi occupation marker in any city that is touched by a space with a Nazi soldier figure in it. These cities have become occupied by the Nazis. Any time a hero moves into an occupied city, their move immediately ends and they must draw a Nazi enemy card to fight. If defeated, the occupation marker is removed and the city is liberated as the Nazis have been driven out. So I think there's only one, there's two cities that the Nazis yeah, are Yeah, so you got to. Shanghai or Hong Kong. Oh, uh, well, those are going to be both of those. Both. So here you go. Okay. Uh, put the Nazi side and then they're also over here in South America as well. The Nazis are in South America, guys. <laughs> How did they well, get there? Wasn't, uh, that, wasn't that like a plan was to invade like South America? Come up wasn't America. that one of their plans yeah. or something? Yeah. Okay, well, so that, that's great, guys. Um, so thankfully, okay, that's, so then we do the, uh, somebody want to roll dice for the Zeppelin? But it's it going to Greece. Me. Choose me. Uh, uh, three spaces towards Greece. I'll so. more. They got to put one up oh. over here. Yep. So Greece is Greece is right here. Okay, so it's gonna go one. It's two, so confused. And right here. Yep. So it's one, two, three. So unfortunately it does land there. Come on. So a Nazi sold the shit, yeah. Okay. I think we need to clear yeah. some Nazis. Yeah, we're gonna have to start clearing these boards soon, but um let me double check to make sure that's how the blunt is supposed to move, like in water spaces. You know, it actually doesn't say. So I'm actually wondering if it actually moves like that. Because, like, I think there's also kind of factoring the size of the water. Well, then in that case, it would stay right here. Yeah. So let's pull this guy off. So I think, because I'm not seeing any rolls for that, so I think it just does normal. Because I thought, well, you guys were right about the way it would fly and stuff. But it's like, I think that's also supposed to be the size of the water. 
Yeah, so it actually, I just, I think I just assumed since it was flying, it moved faster. But no, it doesn't say anything special about the movement. What's the other thing? The outpost phase. So we got three dice. You guys want to roll three dice for the, see if the new outpost spawn. Yep, okay, so we're good on that. Uh, so now we gotta do her adventure. So she has a search of four. So somebody would roll the four dice. Oh, this is. I just know, I think if you put it in that corner, oh. if it, it won't show. So she gets two successes. No, three successes. Of course she does. So she's going to move three, putting that on ten. So she's broken. And then she's going to pull the get, 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 pull the pyramid off. So this gets discarded. We'll just release it at the bottom. Ew. Just hoping you could grab that before the uh, yeah, before. Yeah, I kept that family. Okay. Well, we've got to break into some bases and stuff and start stealing stuff from the Nazis, guys. So we've got to knock them down because they are three quarters of the way. Victory. Okay. Now we're going to replenish that artifact. So it's going to go to Greece. All right. So the Again. artifact is the crown. Uh, there you go. And of Hades. The crown of Hades. <laughs> I thought for a second I said heads and I'm like... <laughs> That is a weird artifact. The crown, the crown of, of heads. heads, yeah. So it's a four and a four. Okay, well, um, first player, so this is going to go to Drew. You just want to put that in Africa for now? There's nothing, nothing's going on in Africa. <laughs> nothing that we need to worry about. There's no global conflict happening. Well, this is 30, so. Your dice. Oh, yeah. Uh, just one. Movement, yeah. Two. One! Give me an event, please. Okay, you two are the lucky ones. <laughs> that belongs in a museum! Play on any hero when they sell an artifact. That hero collects no fortune and instead gains 2d6 glory. Mm. Play to auto automatically pass a lore test. If the dice have already been rolled. Even if the dice have already been rolled. That is great. Okay, I'm going to keep that for the lore test. There's no hand limit to events, by the way. Uh, okay, so now we're at the move phase. Um, oh yeah, you yeah you stood up there. So does he get to move? Or oh, she she goes here. He gets deployed. I'm sorry. So four, four, five. Which is so he would be here with this two goons. His turn. Uh, so it's uh. You're, who's whoever is moving you guys so he's in a city that has nazis so does he have to fight no only if he's entering the space okay um it's occupied but uh it's up to you if you want to move away from that space so does he get a city card or does he move away no he only gets a city card if you encounter the city okay so it's a do i have no money to spend or anything That's yeah you would you should move you rolled a five right yes oh and you can take all no, those wounds off you it was a four oh, it was a four okay uh, so you've got, yeah, four. No, I got the. Four. So it's up to you, you if you want to go two. and try oh, to. Two. If you want to try and sneak through that Nazi base or fight the Nazi base, that's up to you. That's really close. Yeah, um, I can. So one, two. Okay. Um. So now, now there is a Nazi on the. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight. It's it's a regular Nazi fight. This, uh, you I'm shouldn't have this. Is it fight or can I sneak past them? I think you. I don't so know. is this considered, like, if I go over here, this isn't considered the water, right? right. So it would be one. Yeah, but there's an artifact. Oh, are you wanting to take his artifact? Um, I thought we were trying to get rid of Nazis. Should I not try to get in contact with him? Should I just It's focus? up to you. Um, what would be well, the best strategy? Should I focus on getting... You do want to try to prevent them from getting the artifacts. Um, so he's on a... Um, He's currently on an artifact, and his search is actually a three or higher. 
So it'd be better for me to attack so, him. Yeah, because he's going to get things fast. Okay, well then I'll just But he here. also, anytime he doesn't, any successes he doesn't have, he wounds himself. So he actually should be pretty wounded. Oh, okay. Um, I forget how many, but sorry guys. We made the game harder on ourselves. I do that a lot when we play yes. cooperative games. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, attacking the secret. Any hero in a space with a Nazi secret, is a Nazi secret base during their adventure phase may attempt to find... And attack the secret base instead of going on the adventure space it's normal. Just like a normal, let's see, the hero must go through a series of dangers. I think you have to defeat the Nazi soldier before you can, um, before you can go through the secret base. Okay. Yeah, because anytime you enter a space with an enemy, you have to stop and fight them. Okay. So they're not they're not as hard though. Yippee. So this heroes gain the bonuses for destroying an outpost as normal. So you can fight. They have four fight dice and three wounds. Okay, there's four. I got three. So six and You four, hurt them five. three times, which is enough to kill them. Yeah. And they have six and six. Uh, so you can have them re-roll one of those sixes. Yeah, re-roll one. Four. So you still take one wound. Not bad. No, I'll take it. So you, do you take that Nazi off the... Yay. So you um, draw danger cards. You have to get through three of them. Um, you can camp down too, but you draw through. Once you go through three adventures, three danger cards, you can destroy the base. Okay. Oh, we just played this one. Cargo plane mishap. Something's not right. Your flight has been sabotaged. Find a way out of this midair predicament. Cunning. Six plus one X. Okay. I get three. So, right. uh. five, five, four, and I don't get anything to change it's, that. So that is. It's a, just going to be flipped over, and then we'll figure out what happens next right. time. We'll keep it over here by me. Play the initial. Okay. Should I use the green dice? They like to be six. Yeah, I rolled pretty well so, with the white ones before. So yeah, like, yeah, I get it. Okay, if the hero destroys an outpost, uh, one of the vile organization's outposts, the extra bonus, in addition to removing the outpost from play, the players may choose to either steal, take any one artifact from the villains that have collected, or take any fortune the villain currently has, as well as its... Uh, Plus move. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually take. Oof, still these. From who? From the villain. Oh, so like if I fight it him. It says villains have collected or take any fortune the villains currently have. Yeah, no. If he okay. successfully makes it through the outpost, we can take all this stuff. Who? The villains. No, who makes it successfully Drew. through? He's oh, fighting Drew. the outpost right now. Yeah. Oh. So. That'll be a nice boost. Okay, so now it's your turn. Oh, okay. Okay, so you have to do a sneak test. His search is three. So he rolls three dice. Uh, well, Drew, why don't you roll the dice? Okay. And Olivia, you pick a number between one and six before the dice are rolled. Uh, four. One, four. So you have to do one combat round with him. Okay. Oh, I forgot, guys. Unfortunately, you didn't actually wound her. Anytime a Nazi villain would take a wound for the first two, you actually remove the henchman first. Oh. That makes sense. So, okay. So roll, uh, he gets seven dice. I get five. Should I use my extra? If you want to, like, really knock him out, it's up to you. This is just a one time, right? Yeah. Because I think it says discard after use. It doesn't. No, what, does it, what does it say? Play on any hero to give them plus two agility or two plus combat. Oh, for one test. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. That was a success. That was a five. Yeah. So, oops. That was not a success. I know. Trying to move these out of the way. Hit. I don't hit, think. hit. 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 
So you did pretty good. You're going to take three wounds. I need defense of one. Yeah, so you're going to take three wounds. And he's going to take two because you killed his two soldiers. Sweet. So this is done. So you only failed that once, so you do not have to take an extra combat test with him. Again, you can actually go look for your... You can try and do a, one of these danger things. Okay. So, hold on. You have the Alpine Trail. Of course I do. No, you're in Germany. So, the dark forest uh, grows ever colder as you approach the alpine tree line of the mountains. You have an agility 5 plus, 2 successes. Don't forget to put the timer on. That's on, yep. Thank you. Okay. So you got one success. Now you need to do it. You can roll again because you got one. You need two successes. Oh, I need two? Yep. I just needed one. Oh, you're good. You're doubly good. Okay. okay. So, you do you want to press on or do you want to camp down? How many do you I need? You have three wounds. I would almost camp down. <laughs> How many do I need? You need, uh, you're on the orange glowing one. Uh, so. I need five. Five, yeah. He doesn't have any successes yet. I would say camp down. Yeah, I'll go ahead and camp down. Is it okay to use this or is this for somebody else? Um, I'll just use this. Yeah, I don't think that's for anybody. Okay, um, so now you get the free glory. Oh, you were in the city. You could have looked at your uh, the common items. I didn't items. realize that. Yeah, thank you. It's okay. You go to Berlin after this. <laughs> Berlin. I will buy off the Germans. Yep. Okay. Um, so now it's my turn. I am. Uh, I need somebody to do a danger card for me. Watch well, it be an agility six. All right, so <laughs> know everyone with you. Secret ritual. So danger, occult, sneak, glory two. You stumble upon into a clandestine ritual of the dark arts. Sneak by undetected, or break up the party to get to the bottom of what's going on here. You have two options: agility four plus. Uh, four X's or fight. You must fight the order of the Crimson Hand. I think I, I've done this before, but I think I'll fight the Crimson Hand again. I think I did it back on this same artifact, guys. Yep. So, you know what? I beat them up once, I'll fight them again. Can I get the green dice, please? How many? They start with two. They're going to get plus one for every wound. So they're going to hit me one time, and I hit them twice. Well, you're defense of one, so they don't yes. hit you at yep. all. Yep. But so they take two wounds. So now they're going to roll four dice. What was that? I think it was the dice. Okay. Well, they're defeated. And they take one wound. Okay, so um, I have one success. How many do I need on the yellow one? The yellow four. one? You need four. Uh, should I push on? You only have one wound. Yeah, I think I'm going to push on. All right. Still away on a Zeppelin. Danger, flying, Nazis, and sneak. Hmm. Glory four. Sneak aboard or fight your way through. Hmm. Cunning. No. Nope. Five plus three X's. Or fight. Draw a Nazi enemy's card. If not keyword infantry, redraw. Guns may not be used in this fight. I'm going to fight Nazis. Uh, not a keyword infantry. Military Nazi infantry, Nazi scout. Okay. This is a Nazi patrol. Three fight dice. Wound two. Nazi patrols may re roll their missed fight dice once per round. That's not great. 
you know what? I will happily fight them. Um, so they have three fight dice and two wounds, and I have five fight dice. Okay, so re rolled over two and the one. There, yeah. No, the two and the one, the five hit. Okay, so they take two wounds, out of which I take the one wound. And I have more than enough to kill them because they only take two wounds before they're knocked out. So I think that gives me three successes. I only need one more. I think I'm going to go ahead and hunker down. Or should I push? You got three successes? Nice. Yeah, I had one from last and I've gotten two this time. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? One? Yeah, I think. Should I push or should I just camp down? No, that's six. Ooh, that's six. Or yeah, I'm, I'm camping down. Camp down. I'm camping down. <laughs> so I have I mean, nine that's what total. I would do. Oh, six. Yeah, six total. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, next, I'll be gonna break. I'll check. It's actually the... your the bad guy's turn now. Yep. Okay. Okay. So first, we draw an event. Oh, not this one again. Vile Tactics. Roll once on the Vile Organization Tactics chart. Somebody want to roll D6 for me? And we move the trek one step closer. Four. Four. Blitz. Place two Nazi soldiers figures on the board at a random location. Any hero in a space adjacent to one or more Nazi soldiers must immediately fight Nazi soldiers outside the normal turn sequence. Note this does not remove the effects that Nazi soldiers figures themselves remain in place. Any hero in an adjacent space um, or a space with a villain must engage in one fight round instead. Oof. So Olivia's got to fight. All right, I got what one are you ready. doing? You oh, said a random here. location. South Africa. Oh, go figure. Uh, should be it's down here. Yeah, oh, it's the At south. the very bottom. Yeah, South Africa. Okay, Um. anyone else adjacent to Nazis? No? Uh... No. Nope. Okay, so just Olivia has to do a fight round with um, Colonel Stahl. So he rolls five dice. Put it over here by you. Put it in Australia. Nothing happens in Australia, guys. <laughs> yeah. Except for all the dangerous animals. Yeah, they're currently losing the war against the lemurs there. <laughs> oh, that was long ago. It's the frogs now. It's the frogs. Oh, yeah. Here, do you want to roll the five dice for her? Yeah. You say five? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me discard my wounds because I camped down. Is it four? Is that hit? Yep. Okay, so four she gets, hits. She gets four hits and he... One, two, three. She gets four hits and I get... Three. 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 Okay, so you take two wounds. And I... Oh, you're fighting a Nazi. You know that, right? Yeah, I added my two fight dice. You did? Okay, cool. Okay, so he he takes four, his defense is one, so he takes three hits. So that puts him at a five. You gotta do two more and you'll knock him out. Woohoo. Do I fight again or are we done? Uh, we're done. So that was just a turn out of order. Okay, so now the, the Zeppelin moves. It's going to go to uh, Yakutana. You got Yakuta. Yakuta. It's right here. Oh. You know, yeah, Yucatan. Yeah, Yucatan, oh, yeah. Yucatan. Yeah. I was like, wait, you have to roll. Yeah, you have to roll the die. If you get anything less than a one, he's dropping off the soldier. Five. So, oh, yep. One, two. Okay. That's fine, though. Ugh. Again, they're really trying to, uh, in, our, in our game, it looks like they're trying to prepare to invade. <laughs> yeah, they <thank> do. <laughs> okay. And this is in the 30s, so they're just trying to get set up. Okay. Um, so, uh, it's. Oh, and then he gets to search, and she gets deployed. So there's four, four. Um, four, four, four. <sighs> what's uh, what's the value of that one? Backwards. Uh, five. Five. Okay, so she's actually going to go to... Nope, he's already there. So can somebody roll me a d6? We'll do evens and then odds. Yeah. All right, six. Evens. Good, so she's going to go here. This turn. Oh, I mean, she gets is... two soldiers with her as well. Okay. Hold on. And then he's going to search. So can you roll two dice? Um, roll two ones. Snake eyes. Close. 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 So he gets one success and one wound. So he is one wound away from being KO'd. 
That means we get two whole rounds without him. Ooh. Okay, uh, you're doing good with keeping him on his toes. Um, okay, I, oh, the, the villain outpost phase. So we got one, two, three. So can somebody roll three dice? Four, four, three. So two new bases. <sighs> Location. Hold on. Location number one is uh, Persia. So that's uh, right in here. And location number two, Congo Jungle. Is that over? Right here? Uh, over one. To your... That way. Yep. Uh, it looks like it's down one. Down one. Yeah. Down. Okay. It's the hero's turn. Uh, the oh, first place goes to Olivia. Um, okay, I think oh, we're, wait, all, I we're, do, all, we're all staying where we're at. You get rid of the wounds, right? Yes, you do get, okay. you camp down. Anytime you camp down, you get rid of your wounds. So we all get to roll our dice to try to get events. So. Thank you. Hold on, you want to put it in? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Ah, so close. So close. Okay. Um, so Olivia's going to go first. So you want to do a sneak test. His search is three. So. Three dice? Yep. I'm going to go with one. You got one. We got one. So do one fight round. Two, three, four, five. Should have waited until the second number. <laughs> it's okay. Did you win? Then like two. <laughs> like I'm sure you did it. So do you want to roll five dice against her? Yeah, yes, I can. Good. Okay, you're gonna knock him out. Roll one. one. So six, three, three, one, one. So, so one hit. So I yeah. I so defended. you ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then you knock him out. Sweet. So what happens is we turn his card upside down, Bye -bye. and he's gonna go lay down. So. He's now. He's going to the he's hospital. Go, yeah, he's going to be in the hospital for two turns. So, car chase. Danger driving chase. Glory three. Outmaneuver and outrun the speeding car. Agility five plus two X's. Agility five plus two yep. X's. Hey, one success, so now you just need to do one more success. You got this. Nope. Don't you? Oh, you already used that card. So, unfortunately, you're going to go to the cliffhanger side. Okay. I'll be my first cliffhanger. How many successes? Do you not have any successes yet? She's. I thought you've had a few. Yeah, right yeah. here. Oh, okay. I keep Did them on the put card. Put them on your character sheet. Why? Yeah, just, and also, they're supposed to be this side. That way you know which ones you know which one you're on. It just well it keeps the confusion down. So because uh, like if the Nazis are going for it too, then we're like you know who's the two? Okay. Uh, okay, so it's my turn and I only got one, so I need somebody to draw a danger card for me. We're not alone. Something's coming. Find a place to hide and stay quiet, or confront this new threat head on. Cunning, four plus, two X's, and agility, four plus, two X's, or fight, draw an enemy card. Hmm. Does the enemy card not have any, is this anything, just draw an enemy card? Just draw an enemy card. <sighs> That's one of like, these. Like, Cunning, I feel like hitting a four plus isn't that hard, like you have a 50%, but also like my fight is a five, so I think I'm just going to fight. Yeah, that's just one of I'm these, Yeah, right? I'm choosing violence. Ooh, just uh, Fugs. Fugs hit, only hit on a five or a six. Oh, that's perfect. So they're four and four. They have four fight dice and four wounds. So I will take the green dice. Go ahead, Drew. Right, and you said five or four? Four. A four. I have five. And they five. only hit okay. on five and six. Six and a four. Five and five. So I take one wound, they take two. One more time. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Ha ha! No wounds. I, I defeat them. So there's one. And that's the last one I needed. Oh, just four? Yep. Hey, it's all yours. For the yellow one, this is four. Yep. Is it this one? Yep. Okay, and how much glory do I get? Three. Two. 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 Okay. Okay, here's the green dice. <clears throat> so choosing violence has worked raw well for me, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, I do have one wound, but that's okay. It is Drew's turn. All right, I'm gonna keep going while I gotta resolve this cliffhanger. What's it say? So, do you know how to fly? Oh. Cliffhanger, flying uh, in tech, glory three. Attempt to crash land the plane or find a creative way to get to the ground. Cunning six plus or discard a gear card and agility plus four. So I have no gear, so I gotta do cunning okay. six plus one X. So my cunning is three. Oof. Oh, and the thing is, you can exert yourself to if you mm -hmm. to try to get that six. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, you're oh, good. Yes. That counts as a success. So, yay! Just need two more. Now, do you want to camp down or do you want to push further into the Nazi? Let's Alpha? push one more time. Okay. Push, push, push. <laughs> Are you gonna read it? Assassin. Assassin. An assassin was sent to kill you. You must be getting close. Try to catch the assassin in the act or outmaneuver them. Cutting five plus two or agility six plus one. Let's go agil agility since I have the better school stat. In yeah, there. so you can you only need one. Yeah, yeah that's a six, six though. Okay, so I get five yeah, dice. Yeah, five dice. Yeah, I, I'm just telling you. I think you can do it statistically. Yeah. Yeah. No! Ah. Unfortunately, you go to another cliffhanger, and you do not get the glory from last turn, last cliffhanger. Okay, oh. so we'll get rid of this one. Yep. And does the success go back? No, no. no. You, you got keep the that. success, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is that, a, is that everybody's turn? It's or? the villain. Yeah, the villain's turn. turn. Okay, so villain event. If it's another surge of darkness. I was going to say, if it's another one of those... Uh, kill orders? Yeah, kill, not the kill order. The kill order is bad, too, but if it was another one of these um, vile tactics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All villains immediately take an extra villain adventure step outside their normal turn order. Okay, so that means he gets... This card flips over, so he's going to stand up next turn, or this turn. And she goes ahead and tries to... Wouldn't even get two without him? No, nope, move the villain track one step closer. <sighs> Uh, so she gets to search. Somebody want to roll four dice? Yeah, I can do that. Remember, any ones wound her. Four ones. Ooh, Two yes. ones. And then one success. So she does get one success. She also takes two wounds. Okay, and that's that's that. Okay, so now the Zeppelin moves. Well, somebody want to roll the dice does for the Zeppelin? she only have three wounds? She only has two wounds right now. Yep. No, I mean, does it have no, her moves three. Combat. It's heading towards the outback, um, so it's going to go one, two, and then what's that bottom look? It's going to go this way, so one, two. It's going to go oh, right it's there. Go, so it's going to be over there, just in the Arctic Circle, or the not the Arctic, the uh, Pacific Crossing, yeah. That's the only place that you can cross on this map. Okay. So, um, so cool, it didn't, didn't make it to the outback, so we don't have Nazis in Australia. Okay, uh, so then he stands up. Oh, the outpost phase. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, f five. We got five. Uh, we have to five, roll throw five, five dice. dice. Yep. Oh, go ahead. Okay. All right. And so three, one, two, four, five, three. one, five. Last three bases, guys. So these all go, oh, I think we just lost the game. Did we? Yeah. Because you're supposed to move this track up for every success, so they're on 15. Yep, we lost. We got destroyed, oh. guys. Oh. 
Man, us in cooperative games. I think you made it harder on us. I think I did too. Uh, I think we had a shot at winning because, like, unfortunately, it's just luck was against us. We couldn't get going mm -hmm. on this. No. Uh, we're going to do a quick reset on the cameras, and then we'll kind of give our final thoughts. But Because if we could have gotten this, that would have put us, like, you had six, this is nine, that would have been 15. I'm surprised I didn't get anything for defeating him, too. Yeah. Well, you just get him out of the, you get him out of the way. Is that it? I think oh. so. Oof. Okay. Uh Huh? We need to replay this sometime. Oh, I we're gonna re we got the expansions and plus there's another expansion coming out soon and yeah so ho let's reset the cameras and then we'll give our final thoughts. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel like the bases kind of just started getting out of hand. Uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like I think we we just ignored them and let them kind of grow and then before we knew it it snowballed and yeah. by the time we realized what was happening the snowball was too. Too far gone. Uh, plus, we had really bad luck. Uh, the beginning several turns, you and I both got KO'd. And, yeah. And I forgot about the rule where you can exert yourself. I forgot about that rule. And you forgot the rule about the ones. Yeah, the ones hurting wounding, them, too. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so I forgot a couple of rules. I'm sorry. I don't need We'll this. forgive you this time. <laughs> but, um, well, Drew, what'd you think about it since it was your first time playing? I mean, it is a very fun game. The negative is, you know, there are a lot of rules that go along with it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, trying to find it in the rule book can be very cumbersome. It's not organized. Mm -hmm. there, there's like certain things where it's like you'll read like the section on outpost and then there's another section that has also rules on outpost. And then there's like a third section. It's like this this all needs to be together. Yeah, it could, uh, but it could use a streamline. They admit that because yeah. they're reprinting this game and putting it in a smaller box and clarifying. And they said they went over the rule book again. So the rule book isn't unreadable. I've read worse rule books, yes. but this one and, and I I don't know. I, I kind of wonder if they just were under pressure to get this game out. This was their third game, and they mm. were growing fast. And I think they felt. I wonder if they felt some pressure to get the game. I don't know, uh, but the gameplay itself is a lot of fun. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Once yeah. you understand it and get going with it, it's a lot of fun. The pulpy adventure, you're fighting Nazis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah that's so much fun. Um, again, we were really, really unlucky. Uh, there was, like I said, well, like I said, there was parts in the game where we were just couldn't do anything. We couldn't get yeah. going. So that's that. Yeah. I think if we could have, if we would have had a better opening, I think we would have done better because mm -hmm. um, we would have been as behind the eight ball as we were. Um, but how, do you like the? Uh, what do you think about the? Uh, and you can feel free to... What are your thoughts on the game? I'm sorry. Um, oh, it's fine. This is one of my favorite games um, to play for board games. I've played this probably, like... I don't know how many times we've played it, but... I feel like we win more than we lose. Yeah. So, um, like, I think this I think was just a really it's just, unlucky... And we haven't played for a while, too, so I think we're a little bit rusty. rusty. Yeah. But um, I just love going to find the artifacts and fighting the Nazis and... Just the gameplay is just a lot of fun for me. Yes, the rule book needs to be streamlined, and I'm hoping when they re-release this, it will be streamlined better. Um, but yeah, I just there's so many interactions. Once you get it down, it's just a lot of fun to play. Mm -hmm. But what were you going to ask Drew? I was going to ask Drew, like, because I really like. What do you think about the artifact system? Uh, the I, it's very creative. I kind of like how the randomness of it <laughs> and all that. And you can get some very fun combinations on yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think there was one where it was like, like it was, they were both the same. It was like the skull of the skull. Like there was, there was one, somehow they both had like the same name. It was just funny. It, uh, like, uh, I, yeah, it was a, was the it crown mine? of Hades and I thought it said yeah. head. Well, I mean, yeah. I think at one point when we were playing in the past, something oh, in the was past. like the same. It was like it was like the blank of the blank, but both blanks were the same name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like the skull of the golden skull or something yeah, like that. It, it was, was hilarious. Like and so um, There was some pretty cool ones. The temples are a lot of fun. I think that yeah. they the way they run are fun, but that would have been um it's like playing Indiana Jones in mm. Oh, it's a love letter to game, Pulp almost. Adventure. Yeah. It's like Going around the world getting artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, again, I would agree with Olivia. This is one of my, um, uh, one, one, a game I really, really like. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. I, I would have to think about that, but I really like this game. I will play it anytime I get the opportunity to. Mm -hmm. um, the, the characters are fun and unique. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you this because uh, this is apparently is a point of contention with certain board gamers. And Flat and Frog's been around for a while now, but um, some people hate the photos. 
I mean, they hate it with a passion. Really? They said that's the only reason they don't play is because of the photos. I'm curious on what your thoughts are on that. I thought the photos were fine. I could, they're they're a little cheesy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, some I, of them, you know, it's like this character one is nice, but it's not like oh, this is. It's kind of like cheesy, maybe kind of like eh, that's kind of a knockoff. Maybe not the best quality of posing or mm -hmm. that, but it still it adds to the charm. Yeah, it kind of gives it a B yeah. movie feel. That's yes. what I like. Yes, say. yes. Yeah. Um, the the reason why I bring that up is because there's a, a certain reviewer who said that he won't play games with photos, and then he gave Ark Nova a pass. It kind of takes me off. <laughs> Ark Nova is a game where they use animal pictures of animals, and apparently that's okay. Probably know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to name names. But anyway. But you know, it's like the photos are kind of like the Abbott and Costello um, monster movie, like cheesy but fun mm -hmm. type thing. Well, like I said, I think um, it gives it the B movie feel that they yeah. were going for. Yeah, it That's... doesn't, like, it's just fun. Mm -hmm. Especially if you get to meet the characters, which we've met a few of these. We've met some of the models. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Even if I didn't like it, I wouldn't say that it would break the game for no. me. No. So. Um, I think the rule to move is another thing that bothers people, but again, I, I kind of think of that as a, um, like, things happen. Sometimes you get slow, sometimes you can move faster than, yeah. you know, so that, that's, mm -hmm. that's there's always plenty to do. You're always yeah. close enough to figure something out, but anyway. And you never know what kind of combination you're going to get, <clears throat> so <laughs> it keeps it um, interesting. Yeah. Well, guys, just, uh, I think that's it, unless you guys have any other final thoughts. No. Um, all good. right. Well, um... Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take the initiative and roll out.